Recording in progress. Okay. This meeting is being recorded. Let's do it. Okay. 12 yin set of uh -huh. Nagong. Ah. The 12 yin set of Nagong from the Wu style of Tai Chi. Last moving box in the living room. So. Uh -huh. Okay. So, start with the imaginary string, lifting us up, cascading relaxation down through the spine. And for any, any compression in the spine, bulging discs, etc., we would be super aware of how it feels for the, the spine to naturally fall downward with a gentle lift. Because as we start engaging this gentle lift, we want to start building the muscle around the spinal cord, enhancing that lift, enhancing the elongation. <clears throat> so when we do the, the yoga exercises that are complementary, we're just extending this, this sensation that we're establishing here. So we won't do that today, but we want to establish the sensation with this first exercise. Feet shoulder width apart and parallel. Have that extension go all the way through the tailbone and through the hips through the knees, softening the knees, going down the legs, through the ankles, through the heels into the ground, and the mind going through the heels, the center of each heel like nails, right in the ground. Mouth closed, tongue on the ceiling of the mouth, palm facing flat down. Let me expand this too. Mm -hmm. All the breath into the belly. Lower down chin, three finger lengths below the belly button, two inches. Inhaling deep. Exhale, wash the color. Breath as the color down the arms, the palms, the fingertips. Notice that I just had my elbows up and I just softened them a little bit downward. So I was just getting myself in the posture where I really feel like I can experience like waves or liquid washing through a hose down the arm. So if I find myself here a little too tight or my arms are locked or anything like that, or even I feel tightness in my rib cage or in my spine up here, I open up just a little bit and then I soften as much as I possibly can without losing structure. So I want to have as little as it takes to maintain the structure. The palm is facing flat down and the special attention on the middle finger of each hand. Oh shoot, I just realized. Hold on one second. Sure. Why my computer's not higher? I need to put the hands here. There we go. Just gonna stand here and breathe. Nice, there, that's better. So again, that extension, that imaginary string, cascading the relaxation downward while we hold the structure. Mm -hmm. and soften the wrists, and then inhale, breathless the wrists. On the side, arms right in front of the, exhale, wash out. Inhale, drawing the color up. Interlace the fingers, exhaling down, down, down. Soften the legs. And inhaling up, go onto the toes and the balls of the feet, stretching out of the hips onto the toes. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Even deeper this time. Interlace the fingers. Exhaling down. Inhaling out of the hips, onto the toes, and keep the idea in the belly. Exhale, wash the color from the belly through the arms and down the legs. Inhaling deep, even deeper, even deeper. Exhale down. And just to make a note on this exercise, Uplifting Heaven, sometimes you'll see me do it small like this. Mm -hmm. 
And sometimes I'll do it much bigger, opening the, the ex really expanding the arms, dropping down. And this is one of those exercises that's really great because, I mean, all of them have this component, component to some extent, but this one, you can really just do sitting down. Ah, you know, <laughs> you don't have to put much effort into it, but if you really want to get more of a stretch and more openness, then you open the body more. So you open up here, really extending the, the limbs, exhaling down. When you exhale, really making sure that you feel the pelvis rotating on the femur, the body going forward. Nose stops at where the toes are, or where the knee is, and the knees stop where the toes are. So you have this toe-knee-nose alignment here. And then the hand, when the palms open up, you're gonna open the collarbone going up. But while you open the collarbone, oftentimes, the, the tension here might bring someone's idea or the chi up, the concept of your, your center of gravity going upward because your, your awareness gets stuck wherever the tension might be. So you wanna minimize the tension and keep the awareness in the belly while you do this. So here, I'm inhaling even more deeply into my, my base diaphragm going up, the lower down chin, so that my center of gravity, my awareness stays down and then exhaling, pushing it from the belly, out the arms and down the legs. So just to note that you can, whenever you'd like, whenever you feel like you need a bigger stretch, you can enhance the experience for yourself by just making the, elongating through the curves, the natural curves in the exercise. Inhale deep, and we're gonna do cow gazes at the moon, which is essentially looking over your shoulders. Inhale into the belly, exhale, breath pushes the nose, nose turns, eyes looking over the shoulder. Inhaling deep. And again, while you feel the color pulling you in, that imaginary string is like the sattvic thought, your background thought. And then exhale, breath, push, breath pushes the nose. Inhaling deep. One more time each side, breath push the nose. So really allow yourself to experience the breath pushing, the color visualization of your breath pushing the nose, and then inhaling, and the breath, the color pulling the nose back in, reeling it in like a fishing line. Exhaling, giving the breath a color, seeing it push the tip of the nose, nose turning. Inhale, pulling it back to center. And now we're gonna connect that one point, the tip of the nose. So we have lower down chin, tip of the nose, and this path between is the color visualization going to and fro. So now we're gonna connect the nose to everything above the hips. Inhale deep, exhale, breath push the nose. Nose pulls everything above the hips. So two different sensations. Breath pushing, nose pulling, and looking behind you as much as you can without moving your hips. Just the waist. Inhale, breath pulls you back. Exhale, breath pushes the nose. Nose pulls everything above the hips. Inhale, pulls you back. Exhale, breath pushes the nose. Nose pulls everything above the hips. Inhale, pulls you back to center. Now exhale, breath pushing the nose, nose pulls the entire body. So the whole body can go with the nose. Yeah. 
Inhale, pulls you back to center. Exhale, breath pushes you to the other side. Pushes the nose. Nose pulls the whole body. And do your best to minimize tension in the shoulders. In other words, rather than pulling a shoulder back and pushing one forward, just allow it all to come from the center line. And inhale, pulls you back. And this time, we're going to exhale and we're going to pause at the apex of the turn. And we're going to hold here, looking as far behind you as you can. Imaginary string lifting the top of the head. Inhale as the string lifts you up. Exhale, let relaxation cascade down the spine. So feel the spine lengthening. Inhale, feel the lift again, going up. So first you feel the lengthen up, then the lengthen down, then the lengthen up again. And then exhale, turn a little bit more. And inhale, breath pulls you back to center. And do it one more time. Exhale, breath pushes the nose. Nose pulls the whole body. Pause on the apex of the turn. Inhale, feel the breath lift you like a string from the top of the head. Feel the whole body aligned by that string. And then exhale, relaxation cascading down the spine. So the lengthening downward. The spine is falling down to the ground. It's dangling from the sky. And then inhale, feel that dangling, that string lift you up again. And exhale, breath pushes the turn a little bit more, and then inhale, breath pulls you back to center. How's that feel in the back? Okay, it's okay. It, I can feel it. Right. Um, in the back and also in the hips, like above my hips, like in here. Wow. Interesting, so when you say you feel it, do you feel tension? Um, do you feel uh, a, uh, a pain or what, what is the sensation? Kind of more like an ache, if that makes any sense. Yeah, absolutely. So is yeah. that ache, <clears throat> would you say that the ache is connected? Can you trace? One of the great things about the color visualization of the breath is being able to help you paint the picture of pain. So if you have a sensation, um, whether it's, it's intense pain or, or just a subtle gnawing, to be able to visualize the shape of that thing and yeah. then be able to trace where it might emanate from. So, because you can, all of us can. So it's really just about going deeply into it. So what, what are you seeing in this area when you visualize, um, when you visualize the, the sensation? It's and when you do, remember to soften your arms so that you're, there's yeah, no unnecessary tension. Inhale, breath pulls you back. Um, I feel it. And there's also a question of, does that sensation I'm come about? I'm trying to think what I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm trying to think what I'm seeing. Um, And no pressure to, to paint it fully right now. You just might want to take some more time uh, with the exercise. And we could do more of it right now if it'll help you paint more. But I want to make sure that it's not a, a causing more pain. And that especially, I'm wondering, are you feeling it when you just do the simple turns? Or are you feeling it on the pause and the extension? Oh, just when I'm doing the turn. So for any turn, not, not just the pause and extension. So you feel it here, and then it, yeah, that's when, I'm, that's when I feel it. When I, I wasn't feeling when I'm doing the, the the head, just the head, not feeling it there. Okay. Started feeling it when I'm doing the torso. Yeah. Okay. Definitely for the torso, and then differently when I'm doing the torso and the head. Um, Interesting. So I, I want to try an exercise with you, and I'm going to turn my back for a second so you can see. 
We're going to have the yeah. hands up. We're going to inhale up, exhale down, and I'm dropping my elbow. Remember we started elbows last week. I want to show you this anyway. I'm dropping my elbow past my center line, and then I come back. Exhale, drop the elbow past the center line, and come back. So exhale, inhale back to center. Exhale, inhaling back to center. And I am, so uh, yeah, exactly. Going behind you. How does that feel on the lower back? Go on the back in general. Um, it hurts the lower back. It hurts the lower back. So, yeah. And so the hurt is the sensation, A, uh, is it a tug, a pull, is it a shock? Um, what kind of experience is it? It's not a tug, pull, or a shock. It is not a tug, it is not a pull, it is not a shock. Is it, it a gnaw? It's like it, d deep ache, ache. Okay, deep, deep ache. aching. Okay, a deep ache. It definitely feels like it's coming from the joints inside of the spine. Okay. And then with the hip, it definitely feels like it's coming from within the hip joint. Okay. Okay. It's so, definitely one thing. Yeah. Okay. So that what, what what that tells me is that a lot of these exercises, um, uh, especially, I, I think we should focus on, on uh, with the cow gazes at the moon, the foundational exercise, which is just the head, because when you just move the head, you actually have a gentle stretch throughout the entire spine, all the way to the base. Right. Sure, so. Sure, sure. So what we want to do is we want to spend more time, um, because again, like after I had a car accident, I definitely felt a challenge here, and I had to work up to to doing this with without having, without having pain. I had to rebuild a lot of strength in the spine, and so yeah. and also work out some of the wave dyna dynamics that happen when you receive impact, especially at like, that level of impact. So I do think that the um, the the nagong the nagong exercises are going to be the thing to, to focus on mostly, because again, the more you do them, the more you do the same thing over and over again, the deeper experience you're going to have. And that deeper experience is gonna give you the data that's required so that you can internally make adjustments and rebuild that strength, so. Actually, you know what? My lower back is kind of hurting quite a bit today. Do you mind if we do it sitting down today? Like absolutely. on the chair, the stuff you were doing in the chair? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't know why it's it's gotten, you know, over the past like week or so. Um, well, you yeah. When you came back from um, uh, Thanksgiving, like you you were saying that you were you were a little a little uh, sore there. Yeah. From Thanksgiving. I think I, get, I I think I have to when we're not together. I think I have to go back to doing some of my back exercises, um, which a lot of them were similar to. The some of the stuff we were doing, it's, it's, it's helped me in the past. So question, what, what are, what are some of your morning, what, what is the first thing that you do physically in the morning? <laughs> Get out of bed and shower. Okay. So, so you, you don't, you don't do any, um, well, what, what do you do a breath work exercise in the morning? No. Okay. I, I highly recommend, um, <clears throat> Before before talking to anyone, maybe even before showering, doing a breath work yep. exercise. And the reason is because the, the more activity you start to build into your your morning experience, uh, or yep. sort of say the, the deeper you go into the uh, the the day to day operations, the more you get become the same. Uh, you know, you ha have a lot of the same experiences that you had yesterday. And what we want to do is we want to augment all the the training that we're doing. Uh, by having the repetition throughout the day. So augment some of the postures that'll help relieve the pressure and also build more strength. And uh, you know, even, even in the lower back area, yeah, you know, being able to, to make your adjustments internally because you have more sensitivity and more strength in a particular area, that's going to you know, lead to, the, to the, the relief of pain that we want to have. So, um, I recommend tomorrow, please do your Tai Chi poem and let me know how that is. <laughs> Just the Tai Chi poem, because it's it's only two minutes long. It's only one minute. I, hold on. So now I'm going to, like, 
So I have never, ever, ever had a routine. Like, ever. Like, I don't have a routine. I don't wake up and do certain things. Well, I, I brush my teeth and I did it, that, that type of routine. <laughs> but I've never had, like, a real exercise routine mm. or even health and wellness routine. Mm. Like, a daily routine. I don't have a routine. And I've... I've Definitely know that repetition is critically important, but maybe it's time for me to start building one. I'm going to get a pen. Okay. okay. And then we'll do it. Negong seated. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use a different seat. I have this right. wonderful seat here. It's going to be great. See if this matches the height of the camera. There we go, look at that. Sit bones. Boom. Sit bones into the chair. Collarbone up. Okay. I think I got it. Can, can you see this? So I, ha I have this wonderful swivel chair that my buddy who does the, um, the Tai Chi bone setting, uh, mm. Uh, the, who I've mentioned to you before, who, who could be definitely very helpful. Next time you come to L.A., very helpful for your spine. Yeah. Um, but this wonderful swivel chair puts a lot of uh, uh, attention on the core. Highly recommend it. So, oh, interesting. Uh, so, but yeah, I, routine, let's just finish the routine conversation. Just making sure that you have morning, noon, and, uh, and night routine. And, and this is essentially, you know, a, a, six days a week, I'd say, honestly. You know, uh, the, I, I do think one day of just not doing the, the same thing at all is really valuable. But every other day, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be super intense, but as long as it's there. And making sure that you have your Tai Chi poem in the morning when, when, there's, when you have no, no you know, like you're, you're learning so much more. But if you only do one thing, just do the Tai Chi poem. You know, and if you want to do two things, do the Tai Chi poem and do your Jade Rabbit Watches the Moon exercise yeah. um but just after you do the tai chi poem stretching you know really going down or if it, if you don't want to do the bends stretching reaching over yeah, yeah. and just making sure that you've warmed up the body before you jump in the shower because after you jump in the shower you're going to start to have your uh, in, in my experience the uh my unconscious mind had you know reveals itself of all the things it was working on when i take a shower it's like, hey, here's all the inspiration that you needed that uh, you, you've been waiting for. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then I get out of the shower and I feel very ready to go and take action in my day. So uh, I, I would think that putting a Tai Chi, uh, uh, putting any training between shower, after shower and the next task of implementing what your subconscious mind might have given you um, might feel like a, a, a bigger barrier, again, for my personal okay. taste. So before you get in, I would just take those two minutes and do your big watermelon, cut it in half. And you, you don't have to say the big watermelon part. Um, like that was the whole poem. You know, I would just do it once on each side. And if you only do it once, that's totally fine too. But if you do it once on each side, that's great. And come right back. And that'll just help you connect that, that uh, start building deeper neural passageways for the uh, color visualization. Because again, that color visualization, you want to be able to, to, to you know, Pull that in any given moment throughout your day. Right. By the way, this girl, who I, I, this woman who I've gone a couple of dates with, uh, I told her that I'm doing Tai Chi, and she looked at me. She goes, "Do you have a great big watermelon?" <laughs> That's awesome. And I'm like, "What?" Because I, I thought maybe that was something that you made up. No, like, that's children in poem. China do this poem. <laughs> and she said to me, "Do you have a great big watermelon?" <laughs> I'm like. What? Yeah, it's cool. Oh, I've never heard anyone mention that. It's amazing. Yeah, I, mean, I was shocked. I'm like, what? That's yeah. so cool. Is she from China? No. That's great. From Israel. That's great. That's awesome. So let's 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 do let's 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 work on the twelve yin set seated, and okay. you know, let me know how the lower back is feeling. Uh, because what we might want to do is we may want to cycle the exercises, either doing half the exercise seated, half standing, 
or do half the set seated, half standing, or cycle between one exercise seated, one standing. Just let me know how it feels in the, in the lower back, because if I sit too long, I feel the need to stand up to release yeah. some of that pressure, and we can just go between. All right, cool. All right, so since we're seated, we won't do the, the very first exercise, which is the bending over. Uh, exercise and also we want to spare the lower back so we'll yeah, go I mean, I didn't have to do that today. yeah we'll go right to exercise two which is going to be embracing the one technically a variation with the middle fingers as high as the floating rib shoulder blades pushing forward remember every time you're doing seated nagong you're pushing you're pushing the sit bones into the chair. Yeah. Imaginary strings lifting you up. And we'll do six breaths. Inhale into the belly. Exhale, washing the color out. Inhale deep. Exhale, washing the color through the palms of the fingertips. Inhale through the soft part of the arm. Exhale, wash out. Down the arms to the palms of the fingertips. And turn the palms up. And now we're going to breathe, big orbit breathing, <coughs> inhaling up the toes to the top of the head, exhaling down the back from the head to the heels. Six breaths. Slight tension in the anus, tongue in the ceiling of the mouth. Inhale, draw the wrist back. Exhale, the hands float down. Inhale, bring them back up to the small of the back. And hold the breath, swallow the saliva twice. And this is a great moment to check in on your spine to make sure that the, seat, the seated experience is pushing the sit bones into the chair, almost angling close, cutting them downward like this. Yeah. So it should feel a little bit of the of the uh, suspension bridge, bridge function of the lower back here, rather than a flat back where the muscles are, are not supporting the spine. So the muscles are slightly activated here. Mm -hmm. If you find yourself rolling into the chair, that means that the muscles around the spine are not being engaged enough, and that means pressure is going into the lower back. Mm -hmm. So you want to push a little bit forward, rotating it like, if, these are my, if this is my hip, I'm, yeah, there we go, and hold the breath, inhale into the belly, oh, hold the breath, swallow saliva twice, exhale, push the wrists into the lower back, like a massage, down, let it fall through the fingertips, Inhaling right hand over left, and then hold the breath again. Swallow the saliva twice. On the second swallow, inhaling up. And exhale, stage one, exhale deeper, stage two. Inhaling up, stage one, inhale deeper, stage two. So this is Jade Rabbit Watches the Moon. Gather the color, let it get super bright with inhalation, exhale, compress, and flatten the color. Drawing the color into the belly, it gets super bright, condense, make it super concentrated, ball of light in the belly, and then flatten that ball into 
a layer. And then stack more on top of it, inhaling the ether in, even deeper, it starts to overflow in the belly. Compress, becomes very potent, and flatten it out. And just noting the change in language that we're doing here. So first we just talk about the breath, just so people can start getting used to the concept of breathing in stages. And then we start talking about the color. So we get them used to visualizing the color of their breath. And then we start talking about ether. So we start giving a more dense idea to what they're visualizing. And then we talk about the faith, knowing that take the inhalation, you're gathering the energy, and when you exhale, you're storing that energy. So every single breath you take in and out, you actually get stronger. three more and just to check in with your spine how's it feeling right now okay fine now just strange, right? Maybe it's not strange. Um, yeah, sometimes just standing hurts. Yeah. In in general, in life. Well, over the, when my back gets bad like this, yes. Do you think it has anything to do with the weather in New York, especially right now? Oh, it could. Never thought about it like that, but. So. Would you like to try this exercise in the horse stance for a moment to see if that wider stance makes an adjustment? How does this feel? Let me see. I, I gotta see for if I stand here for a while. Okay. Let's let's do the pump first. In other words, standing up on the inhalation, exhale, stand and sinking. Remember, the feet are shoulder width and a half apart. And when you sink into it, just check in to make sure the tailbone is, is going downward rather than the butt sticking out. Inhale stage one, even deeper stage two. Exhale stage one, even deeper stage two. Inhale stage one, deeper stage two. Exhale stage one. Deeper stage two. So far, so good. Okay. It can be very challenging in the winter months for, you know, to, to even sometimes muster the, the desire to train rather than hibernate. Mm. So I think it's important to take into account that by doing these exercises, we're internally heating the body. And so that internal warmth is going to keep on spreading throughout the body and uh, could very much be helpful in, uh, in loosening up areas that might be having any challenges. Yeah. And now let's try six seated, staying seated. Remember to bring the mind back to that color visualization. Seeing the breath is color in the belly, it's brighter. Condense it, flat.
Do you want to go back to seating, sitting, or do you want to go to the next exercise, uh, standing? We get in next one standing. Okay. So we'll go for. Just let me know if you want to uh, ever cycle into uh, into the yeah. seat. Okay. So now we're going for white crane spreads his talons, massage the temple, and exhale, sink and sit. Pushing the hands forward in and up, gentle grab. Inhaling up, massage the temples, hands floating down. So the elbows are very soft rather than pulled back, very soft. And exhale, push forward in and out. Standing up, massage the temples. Exhale, sitting to your half horse stance, feet shoulder width and a half apart. And remember that the hands are gently grabbing the ether, and this is the gentle crane fist. That rolling, that rolling demonstration we did in person where someone touches the shoulder, that's that gentle touch we're training right here. forward in and out and we'll stay seated for the next six Shoulders disappear into the upper back when you push out. Inhale, breath, draw the wrist back, exhaling down. Next exercise, clever cat catches the mouse, inhale, breath lifts the wrists, right hand over left. Inhale, even deeper, energize your fingertips. Inhale, even deeper, eye in the middle finger of the right hand as you pull apart like taffy. And then inhale, even deeper, as the hands are like claws running through a waterfall going up, 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 and you capture, hands are not facing each other, not facing out, but 45, a 90 degree angle, and exhale. Inhale up, even deeper, even deeper, four stage inhalation, one big breath, even deeper, Capture, and exhaling down. And we can stand up on the fourth stage. So inhaling here, standing up, and then doing your capture and exhaling down. And as you exhale down, you're softening the hip area so it should feel like an elevator cord's been cut and it's falling in slow motion. Inhale, stage one. Two, three, four. Coming up. Inhale, stage one. Deeper, stage two. Deeper, stage three. <clears throat> Deeper, stage four. And this is when you can rise up. And the hands clasping. Exhale. 
front down. <clears throat> Two, three, eye in the middle finger of the right hand, four, and now we'll do six seated. Remember, these are all exercises that are very helpful with lower back strength. Mm. This and the last exercise, yeah. especially. Oh. I didn't realize that. Yeah, this is this is what these are part of the formula that my uh, father would give me when I would get injuries in in school in school in high school to like strengthen here because sometimes I would play some of the athletes. Um, you know, I had a lot of conditioning, but I didn't play like any sports in school. So I would have a bunch of friends who were athletes and I would go like play basketball with them or play another thing um, uh, with them. And and, uh, and I might get a little injury because I'm not used to moving the way they move. So I'd be like, huh, do these. And, uh, and my our, our family, uh, Tai Chi Sifu, uh, they just give me a suite of exercises to do. And this is definitely one of the, the three main. The previous exercise, White crane spreads his talons as well. So inhale, we'll stay seated. Inhale, stage one, two, three, four. And hold the breath for two seconds. Exhaling down. And that exhaling down is not just the hands, it's the hip softening. See that little soften. So any tension, drops down and you'll probably gather a little bit of tension you won't be fully still while doing these exercises and making these changes so you're checking in with that that inevitable shift and then just relaxing it out more and that little drop gives you extra momentum in the arms it's the same same concept of, of every circle adding up to the centrifugal force to create a lot of power in a small space so here that drop in the hip connects to the drop away of the hands, and it can give you a lot of extra power in a, in a movement. Mm -hmm. So inhale, stage one, even deeper, stage two, energize your fingertips. Even deeper, stage three, pulling apart like taffy, again, same concept of the hands, of the crane fist hands, except, and the shoulder blades, as you pull apart, are gonna disappear into the upper back. And then inhale, show the fingers like claws as if they're running through a waterfall. And the hands are going to be above the head, shoulder blades out, soften the shoulders as well. So if they're up, soften, and exhale, them float down. So five more. Breath lifts only the wrists, stage one. Energize the fingertips, stage two. They fill up like balloons, stage three. Fingers are pulling taffy apart, so you have the sensation of pulling something apart that's very sticky. Pulling the ether. Inhale, stage four. Feeling the water, the energy running through the fingertips. Capture, hold the breath for two seconds, and exhale down. One. Energize fingers. Pull apart like taffy through the waterfall. Hold. Exhale down. Three more. Breathless the wrists. Even deeper, energize the fingertips. Even deeper, pulling apart like taffy. Even deeper, through a waterfall, hold. Exhaling down. Inhale through the finger, through the wrists. Energize the fingertips, stage two. Pull apart like taffy. 
even deeper through the waterfall hole. Exhaling down. Now bring it back to the standing, pumping, right hand over left, snapping the whip left and right, exhale, breath through the wrist, exhale even deeper, 25%, inhale up, inhale even deeper, exhale, sink and sit, breath pushes to the wrist, eye on the middle finger of the extending hand, palm faces the chest, exhale, fingers drop 25%, Inhale, they turn around the rest of the circle. Inhale, even deeper. Exhale, breath pushes the wrist, eye stays on the middle finger. Exhale, and deeper. Inhale, inhale, deep. When you exhale, really feel as if the hand that's on the belly is on a furnace and you can feel the fire pushing from the belly through the shoulder blade down the arm to the wrist like that again for the lower back checking in as you sink and sit as the shoulder blade disappears into the upper back as you sink, the lower back dropping downward, the imaginary string re-engaging the top of the skull, inhaling up, one more each side, then we'll sit. Stay in the horse stance. How's the lower back feeling? Okay. All right. <clears throat> Exhaling out. And deeper. So anytime we take away the pump, we deepen, we want to make the, have the understanding that we're deepening our connection to the breathwork visualization experience. So we took away one thing that we're doing operationally with the body, and now we're deepening our experience on the visualization. Just drawing the color into the belly. Exhale, pushing through from the belly through the wrist. Eye in the middle finger of the extended hand and the palm facing the chest. Exhale, 25% fingers fall. Inhale, 75% to come up to complete the circle. Inhale deep, drawing the color from the fingertips into the belly. One more time each side. And inhale, pull across. Turning the waist, nose, elbow, and camera or wall, wherever your target is. And exhale, sink and sit, pushing out. This is white ape, pushes it away. Inhale, drawing in. Exhale, sink and sit, pushing out. Palms face each other here. From the side, the shoulder, 
soft, the shoulder blade is disappearing into the upper back, and exhale, that hand softens as it floats down, the other hand pushes out. Inhaling, turning to waist. Uh, hip moves or no? I don't remember. Uh, this, the emphasis is on the waist. It's okay if the hip moves, but the emphasis is really on the waist, everything above the hip. So if I turn my hips more, I can, but it actually makes it easier for me if I turn my hips more. Um, it makes it easier for me to get this no, uh, nose, elbow, target alignment, but you don't necessarily feel the same flexibility. And that's what we're really training here. So we're isolating a little bit more of the waist so that the hips don't have to do much work. So it's going to cost us work to isolate but we're now saving the hips. And then when we bring it all together, it'll be that much stronger. And if you'd like, remember that this inside hand, which only stays here, doesn't come close to the body. The inside hand can, as you exhale, cut into the body and massage with the ridge hand on the solar plexus, if you'd like. Don't do it at the expense of overcomplicating. But here, this little massage is helpful for the health benefits of this exercise. And notice that from the solar plexus, you're massaging the spleen and the liver. And so you can feel the waist even more. And let me know how this feels, given that the, uh, the cow gazes at the moon exercise revealed some pain. How does this yeah. feel in the lower back so far? It's okay so far. Okay, so let's, let's stay seated now and use only the waist. How does that feel? Tell you a second. Okay. Great. So I really think that this is going to be pivotal since you already like this exercise from this, the, the faster version. Yeah. Since you already like this exercise, being able to take some, some time and to do it at this speed is going to give you the, the speed gives you the massage. Mm -hmm. So this slower speed emphasizing the waist, and that's again, I'm, I'm leaving my hip behind, so I feel a little more of a tug here, and I feel a tug down here, down to my knee, and so, exhale, pushing that out, and notice that this elbow is down, the heel, the palm's going up, so it's not a locked arm at all, it's, it's a gentle, structured, reaching through a curve, rather than extending all the way through and trying to straighten my arm, we're reaching through a curve. The inside arm again, if you want the a little more of the health benefit, because you're already getting a great health benefit by shifting the the intestines through the waist. Again, if we were doing this faster, there would be a bunch of tension that would hold that wouldn't allow for the intestines to to get this massage. So just by doing it more slowly, we're getting this beautiful stretch and beautiful 
organ massage. But then if you want to add that rich hand, the massage from the solar plexus down and out. If you cut on the angle of the solar plexus, you will get the spleen and the liver and get a little massage in for them too. Additionally, you get this little ricochet. In Kenpo, it's called a ricochet. And I think it's really interesting to be able to find the ricochet. It's a very, very particular concept where they hit their own body to bounce off and hit back to the opponent. So let's say they'll, they'll do exercises where they'll, they'll punch off. They'll punch, hit their own bicep, and punch back. Things like that. So, and it's really interesting. And so they'll, they'll like that, and they're, they're like slapping themselves, but they're using it to, to inspire um, a, 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 a reaction to the, back to the opponent. So really interesting thing is to find it in Tai Chi and to find it in moments like this where you have, you by nature of you massaging, if you start to slow everything down, it starts to look different. So by nature of the massage here, I'm pressing, when I release the press, look at how there's a little bounce back. Yeah. And that little bounce back is sending my arm forward. So you have the ricochet by, by, by nature of, by, you know, by definition of it if you just look for it. And similarly, at the end of the 12 yin set and gong, we do a very particular type of, of um, massage and, and, and uh, one of which is this hollow fist bouncing on the lower dantian. And this hollow fist that we're gently squeezing upon yeah. impact, the belly, what we're seeking, we're paying attention to the natural bounce. So you push in and then you release and you feel the belly, boom, push back out. So you're seeking more attention on that experience. So I think it's just really important if you like this exercise, any exercise that you like, to be able to go into it deeply and find all of these wonderful moments that, and seeing how that the martial experience and the health experience are, are intrinsically tied together. So by nature of us going to massage the solar plexus down to either the spleen or the liver, we get the natural ricochet that gives, brings this bottom hand back out to block and defend us. And two more each side. And then here we have Sparrow pierces the cloud. So that bottom hand, top hand flattens, bottom hand comes inside on the bicep facing upward. And we're going to inhale, looking across at the middle finger of the extended hand and exhale, uncoil, sink and sit. And I just made a little mistake. I had my head turned. Actually, the head stays forward and only the eyes follow. Hand flattens, other hand comes on the inside, inhaling, pulling across. Eye follows the extended hand's middle finger and exhale switches to the other extending hand's middle finger. And the palms will always stay opposites. One is up, one is down. One is out, one is in. One is up and one is down. And here you can start using the waist more, uh, the hips more. And I'm gonna pin you on this one just so I can see a little bit more. Beautiful, beautiful.
Congratulations on getting one of the, the, the pretty much the hardest day going exercise in this set down. That's awesome. This general choreography is great. And now let's start focusing on, on, on the details, the smaller circles of this. Interesting. Thing. That one hurts my lower back a little bit. Okay, it's interesting. So are you finding it in the, um, is it because we start emphasizing the hip? Maybe, yeah. So there's a lot of internal spiraling on this exercise. And when you say it hurts the lower back more, now my question uh, to you is, are you finding that it's, is it, is it, um, is it the aching, the same aching experience? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So is it an aching that is, um, a, an unstretched area that it feels like it just hasn't been moved and therefore there's, there's dense tension or is it feel like there's, um, you know, maybe the, the, as you mentioned, the vertebra, the, 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 the joints kind of like hitting in a particular way that, that, that you, that is uncomfortable. I don't know. I, I, I can't tell. I can't tell if it's because I'm not keeping my back straight. Maybe my, I'm leaning my back a little bit. Look, let me, I'm going to pay more attention right now. Why don't you do it from the side real quick so I can take a look? Yeah, let's go for it. Pause right there. One note is that when you push forward, mm. if you find yourself, if you find it at a certain angle, I'm not sure if it's the light, but it looks like your shoulder blades are past your hips. And it could be because you're arching the back a little bit up here, but whatever it is, if you find it pretty much, and this is one of the ways you get people to move and push hands, is you get them to go over their hips because it puts undue pressure on the lower back. To make somebody want to step. So if you find yourself here where the upper body, if I point an arrow down, there's nothing supporting it. So therefore it's pushing on my hips, my, my lower back at an angle. Drop, just check in. Check in with, the, the, with your own hips. See if you can make an adjust, adjustment here, softening, releasing any, any tension in the abs that might be pulling the hips forward. So see if you could drop the, the, the butt back a little bit and down, back and down, back and down. And maybe just keep your arm, uh, imagine as if your, your hand is being held and or stapled onto the area of space that uh, it currently is in. And so now let's take your shoulder. As you move your body away, the upper, the shoulder disappears. So see how I'm keeping my hand, but my shoulder blade is going forward. Hold on, I, th I think it's, let me try, I gotta try saying. Sure. Here's, an, here's another uh, potential way to get you to, to, the, to adjust your structure. Let's do the, the yoga lift and maintain that as you do this exercise. It'll, it'll help. Let, let's see if that helps um, and reduces pressure. So in other words, suck in the belly button. And remember, we're in, we're in our horse stance. So we're going to mm -hmm. suck in the belly button, lift the collarbone, and then go for the exercise. How's that feel? Done it. And do your best to fish for as little as it takes. Meaning that you're not flexing the abs because you want to keep them soft. You just have this gentle, intentional lift.
soften your groin a little bit as well so that it doesn't pull the body forward. Boom. Yeah. How's that feel? Trying to figure out where it is. It's kind of like... Did you feel, feel it any less or any more with any of those adjustments? I think I felt it not as bad. Okay. <clears throat> like, um, it's interesting. So let, let's, let's go to the next exercise. Let me know if you still feel it here. Because this, this doesn't have as many spirals. And that's, okay. that's, I think that's the, um, that, that might be a key, is that this exercise actually has a lot of spirals going on. Yeah. And these spirals are super, super important to power generation. And um, this is probably the exercise. It took me many years to, to like doing this exercise and to right. see... <laughs> to, uh, well, no, I'm saying the one we just did. It, it took me many right. years to see all the different power, the angles of power. I, I didn't fully get it. And, um, mm -hmm. and I think that, that if you do have, if you are feeling the, the, the spirals in the body and, um, and is a, a, making adjustments, it might, there are other exercises that may build uh, the, the, some more foundational power. And it's this next one right here, which is leading the sheep along. Oh, we're gonna lead the sheep along. Yeah. So remember uh, now I'm gonna tell you a story. <clears throat> I went to <clears throat> I took a girl to Dave and Buster's the other night because it was fun. Okay. Like it's fun, right? And there was a bachelorette party there, so there were all these women dressed up as sheep. Okay. Uh, uh, Keep the hips stationary and forward. And we're only gonna use everything above the hips, which is gonna create a bunch of strength anyway. So inhaling up. Exhale, sink and sit. Inhaling up, and I'll pin myself again. And just to, just to, uh, let me know how this this feels in a few few moments. So, notice that my hips are staying forward to camera. Inhaling up. My arms are only moving up and down. All the work is being done in the torso, in the waist in particular. Getting you a kind of nice rolling massage, even down into the hips, by nature of us keeping the hips stationary. How's this feel? Okay. Nice. Okay, so I think we found where we want to really emphasize for the next stage of strength building with you, which is going to be waist power. And this waist power is going to then reconnect to the hip power in, uh, in the coming months. And that's how we're going to build a, a massively strong core. So let's stay seated and do six more each side. Inhaling up, exhale down to the other side. Inhaling up, exhale down. Eye in the middle finger of the top hand. And there's never a need to strain in this exercise. So you never need to turn yourself all the way to, you know, let's say your hip line, the parallel line that goes through your hips. You don't need to turn all the way to that. You just want to make sure that you're getting control on the range of motion that you have. You want to deepen the control. And the more you deepen the control, the, the more range of motion you'll get. Now, similarly, this is the second to last exercise, giant snake rolls over to fight. We're gonna keep the hips stationary and we're gonna use the waist. 
So inhale, reaching across the body. So notice one palm, opposite palm to shoulder, reaching across. Inhale even deeper, painting across the shoulders, looking at the palm like a mirror. Exhale, stage one, laying the hand flat. Exhale deeper, stage two, turn the waist. Inhale, drop the elbow. Even deeper, uncover the arm. So we're uncovering the arm and then reaching across. Across the shoulders, even deeper inhalation. Exhale, stage one. Exhale deeper, two, turn the waist. So the last posture is here. Again, if you were to release the hips, it goes here, but we don't wanna do that yet. We wanna keep the hips stationary and use the waist. Get all this spiraling power in the waist. Exhale, drop the elbow. Inhale, reach across stage one. Inhale, deeper stage two. Exhale, one. Exhale, deeper two. Inhaling. Even deeper. Exhale. Exhale. You can inhale, turn the palm up as if you're drawing color into the fingertips like that, like, like straws, each finger is a straw, draw the color in, and then inhale even deeper, pull, uncover the hand, and then inhale even deeper. So you can do three stage inhalation, and then exhale stage one, exhale stage two. Inhale one. And the reason is you wanna really emphasize that, that arm escape right here. You really wanna emphasize this, it's just so important. Inhale, and the palms should face the ceiling or sky. Inhale even deeper. Even deeper, eye the middle finger. Exhale, cover, and exhale even deeper, turn. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one. When you exhale and push the arm out, the eye is on the middle finger, but the breath visualization is only going to the wrist. It's as if this part is sticking to whatever might touch it. So you're rolling the wrist forward. Inhale, gather. Even deeper. Even deeper. Exhale, one. Exhale, two. Inhale, one, uncover, two, three across, exhale, one, exhale, two. Inhale, even deeper, even deeper. Exhale, one, two. And I'm going to pin you so I can just check the technique. Exhale, one, two. So let's make your target the camera. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so targets the camera. <laughs> and so now the hand is forward, one hand forward. <clears throat> Great. So now one hand is forward, inhale, pull that. First thing is turn the palm to the ceiling, the extended hand, exactly. Now the elbow is down and ready to escape. Inhale, pull, take the other hand and cover the forearm and pull the other arm back as you turn the waist. So the waist is turning, so you can see here, the waist is turning and we uncover the arm and it becomes chambered here. So the palms are open in chamber, the other hand is across, elbow down, palm facing your shoulder, exactly. So it's facing the opposite shoulder of the chambered hand. Exactly, now we're gonna inhale, move across to the other, just past the other shoulder. You can actually go wide if you'd like. 
but then we're going to exhale, and this is giant snake rolls over to fight. So think about your targets in front of you. Exhale, cover, like a snake rolling on top of something. So we just block. Think about a block in front of your face. Yep. And then exhale even deeper. And notice that this elbow that's slightly up is going to spiral down and forward. And we're, we're across the... The target's still forward, yep. Exhale and drop down, beautiful. Now hold there, and we're going to inhale, turn the palm to the sky. Inhale, stage two, uncover this arm, beautiful. Reaching across to the other shoulder in front of us, yep. And then we're gonna paint as we inhale even deeper to the other side. So think about a big block here on the outside, and then a big block over the face and down. The inside and then exhale forward again yep beautiful now we inhale palm to the ceiling and then inhale even deeper uncover that arm inhale even deeper across painting across the shoulders blocking on the outside exhale block on the inside and then out exhale deeper out inhale turn the palm to the sky Inhale even deeper, uncovering the arm, across the palm, inhale, big block on the outside, exhale, big block on the inside, exhale deeper, and strike center. Inhale, turn the palm up, inhale even deeper, uncover, escapes, reaching across, inhale even deeper, big block on the outside, exhale, big block on the inside, exhale deeper, and strike. Giant snake rolls over to fight. Inhale, palm up. Release the palm, let it escape. Reaching across. Inhale deeper, big block on the outside. Exhale, big block on the inside. Exhale even deeper, elbow drops and come, arm comes forward. Beautiful. How's this feel on the back? Weird. I, I wasn't paying attention to the back and then it started aching. I gotta figure out why and when. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. A few more. And really make sure you're focusing on the hips of uh, the waist here rather than the hips. It's so easy. There's this is a more dynamic exercise, so there's a lot going on. And you want to make sure that it's emanating from the waist rather than the hips. And the easy way to connect with the waist is just remember that your lower down chin is in the waist, on the waistline. Beautiful. Painting across the shoulders. Exhale, cover. Exhale even deeper out. Beautiful. One more. Inhale, pulling in. Across the shoulders. Inhale even deeper. Big block on the outside. Exhale, big block on the inside. And then exhale deeper to strike. And we're going to inhale. And the final exercise in the 12 in set is John. I think what I was doing that was hurting, I think when I was extending out, I was moving my head. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 very, it's a very natural thing to want to move the hip. And that's yeah. why it's so wonderful to consistently make the adjustments internally to isolate. And because essentially you're stretching. You're doing yeah. this, this dynamic stretching over and over again, and you're opening up all these channels to and, and giving yourself more control here. So this this is a it's a real real gift. The the focus on the waist, uh, on the waist movement it generates so much power. Even when I didn't have certain flexibility, when I had this, uh, as I was developing that flexibility, it was really this that's so unique, this waist power. Oh. And so uh, when I would play with grapplers or I play with other martial artists. Um, it would just give me an, an 
a unique advantage, even though they had all these other advantages. So I was like, huh, they don't have this thing, but lots of people have that thing. And so it's, it's great. So let's, let's finish up here. So this is elephant swings its trunk. So here, normally you, we let the breath lift the, the wrists and the wrists lift the hips, but right now let's, let's focus on just turning the waist. Breath lifts the wrist and the wrist turn the waist. Exhaling, dropping the hands back down. Oh, the, God. I, the second time I've done that. Oh, well, what happened? I dropped my hands right into my oh, man. private. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> so right here. And remember, we're on top of the thighs rather than on the groin. Yeah. Inhale. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tops of the thighs, gentle. And remember, the exhalation, when you relax, and it's all potential energy, it becomes kinetic just before the touch. It's as if there's a, a shape that's created and then dissipates. And it's not a hard flex, but you create the shape and you just push out the, the breath from the chopping shape. Inhaling up. And it's only for the moment of impact. And do your best to let all the tension go right through the hands with the breath work, the visualization into the ground. And now hollow fists, gentle hollow fists, and we can stay seated for this one. Let's see how it feels to stay seated. Just use the waist, hips stay st centered. And remember these hollow fists, you create the shape just before impact and then release it. It dissipates, creates and dissipates of that gentle squeeze, the gentle momentary flex fists just before impact. So that when the impact happens, they're flexed and then you relax. So um, it's as if you're pushing the color visualization the energy right through the hands on that squeeze. And it's a fraction of a second squeeze. Hollow fist, lift you up, turn the waist. One more. Inhaling deep. And the hands come together. And you exhale. So let's put a right hand over left. Inhale deep. And exhale. We're pushing the breath. You stay seated here. You're creating almost like a, a spatula or like, like a big stirring, soup stirring spoon. I forgot what they call it. Ladle. <laughs> uh, and you visualize this color going into the belly as if this is a big pot of soup. Start at the belly button, inhale deep, exhale 36 times, stirring. And I'm going uh, counterclockwise. Each one getting wider and wider. And really creating this attention circuit. As you inhale, the color goes into the belly, gets brighter. As you exhale, it pushes from the belly through the arms into this ladle that goes right back into the belly. This big soup spoon. And you only go as wide as the solar plexus and the hip line. So you don't go past that. Once you get to 36, reverse it clockwise, each circle getting smaller and smaller until you get to the lower down 10, 36 times. Do your best to cover all ground, make sure you haven't missed a spot.
and then take the hollow fist, and this is what we were talking about earlier, gentle banging on the lower Don Tian, so definitely below the belly button, hollow fist, gentle squeeze on the impact, and we're doing 10 times, and we're waiting, paying attention for the pushback of the belly, the natural pushback, that natural bounce is what we want to pay attention to. And then switch 10 times. And you can repeat that cycle multiple times if you'd like, but we're gonna go right to inhaling, hands together. And you don't wanna do any bending, right? Huh? You don't wanna bend, bend forward, no, no bending forward for you, right? I think. Okay, so let's let's exhale and go down this way. Let's let's not not do any bending. Let's... I'm, gonna bend up, yeah, I'm gonna bend a little bit. Let's see what happens. Okay, so let's dive forward. I'm just gonna angle the camera down so you can see. Massage in. Sternum. Collarbone. Up on the face to the side. Up to the side. Release. Up to the side. Release. Fingers to the scalp. Front to back, back to front, front to back, back to front, massage, front to back, back to front, slapping, front to back, back to front, hollow fist, gentle banging, front to back, back to front, grab the scalp, knead it like dough, one, two, three, release, switch, side to the gums up, side to the gums bottom. Tongue. And reverse it. And flick the fingers out. Thumbs. Press and hold. And drill. One, two, three. Tap. One, two, three. Other side. Press and hold. Drill. One, two, three. Tap. One, two. Good stuff, man. Good stuff today, brother. Only Tofu. <laughs>